Hello everybody, this is Dro. Welcome back to the block-centric server. And uh, you can't really see it in the background. So as I mentioned last episode, we have quite some chests accumulating here. And it's getting quite messy. So what I want to do this episode is build a storage room over on that island. Which will be the main island later. And what's really annoying me is, you see it, yeah, um, whenever I throw the ender pearl, it's just barely not there and takes me to the bottom of the ocean. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, so what I was thinking is, since we don't have very much space here, I don't want to do it over ground. So what I was thinking is, or what I had in mind, is we can have sort of like a staircase going down here and a staircase going down like about here and one over there and have uh, our storage room basically underground in this in this landmass. So this episode will be in the style of last episode. Ooh, there's... <laughs> I really need to light this place up before I start working on here. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna make a cut and make that off camera because I'm not really good at talking while digging. But after that I'll be there again, and then I'll do everything after that with you. And see, it's the same deal over here. So I'll see you in a little bit. So welcome back. You may recognize I have a morning voice. And it is 9pm over here. So how that comes I'll tell you in a little bit. First of all, let me actually get started with uh, doing what I wanted to do. So you see I have a ton of bricks and the reason why I have those is well because I've collected it and we're going to use it. So let's make a ton of these and considering that you only get two pieces of those for uh, one piece of coal, that's quite expensive actually. And then you have to collect them as well, so that has taken quite some time, I guess about like one and a half hours or something. Uh, let's make some more. And yeah, the reason why I have a morning voice is because I have taken a nap to recover from an exhausting day of doing nothing. And yeah, I tend to do that lately uh, because I, I mean, my parents are very annoyed when I get up at like 1 p.m. or something. And yeah. That is, <laughs> I'm annoyed when they are annoyed because they say, hey, you, you can't do that, that's me, and yeah, it, it's not very fun of all to talk with them then. <laughs> oh, there we go. So uh, lately I decided to take a nap in the afternoon to be able to get up early, but also to be up late when a few friends are online and that sort of stuff. And overall it's quite nice being awake in the night. Let's take them from here and from here. Because everything is is quiet, you know, and nobody disturbs you and what you're doing, if you do anything at all. And 
Yeah. So we have two left over. Let's just chuck them in there. And yeah, I guess we're gonna need some wood, but oh, I don't even know if that suffices because we need a ton of chests. And I also decided to add a storage system. And um, that was quite hard to figure out how that goes because uh, it was... I mean, I can't show you in creative uh, why that was that hard. Ooh, hello, skeleton that has died somehow. So the hole I've dug out is this, I guess we're gonna need to extend it in these directions and don't need the full length of this direction. Yeah, I guess let me actually show you what I've did in creative. So let's go to this world. What I'm trying to do is something like this. And there you see where I or why I need all the brick. Oh, I also need some packed eyes. I don't have that. Well, anyway. And the reason why that is so tricky is because... Let's see, that needs to be... Okay. Is because item sorters usually take up this space here. One row for distributing the items across one row for filtering the items and one for sort of also filtering but uh, putting them in the chest down yeah. or in the front here. And that means an item sorter is always three or needs at least three hoppers or two hoppers and a water stream or two hoppers and a minecart or whatever. And we only have two high or a too high section here so we need to also transport them upwards whenever an item goes in there so that was the real tricky part that's why we all have why we have all this uh, gist down here so we have a crafting bench over here i do believe no we don't huh. okay but we have some, some trees over there and I have an axe with me, so let's just get some wood here. Cut this one down. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I have some wood on me. Silly me, silly me. And now it's getting night time, so I'm probably gonna get attacked by some mobs down there, so I need to go back anyway, so I c can also grab some spruce and my... Uh, I need to get a better mouse, or another mouse. I currently have the Razer Naga Hex, which is an awesome mouse, but lately it's behaving weird. And the good thing with Razer is... Uh, with Razer is that if you buy them, like one year or one and a half years later, they uh, break or something is wrong with them or whatever. And then you get, because not, uh, t not two years have passed, uh, you still have warranty and get some of the uh, money back that you've paid. And the reason why I'm putting down water in the middle is because you should be able to go into the storage room from at least one side when you're in a boat. And oh, let's actually check the levels. We are here at 61. And that was when standing knee deep in water. And the ocean level here is 63, 62. So I guess we're gonna rise that by one block. Good thing I noticed that. <laughs> so, uh, and I 
notice I'm getting a bit low on food. That's pretty much all I have left. So I need to do something about that soon. So we need to have this spaced on there anyway. So we're just going to put no stairs there so we can put something or build from that point. I received some some very nice feedback from you and uh, I appreciate that very very much and uh, yeah I want to give a special thanks to Derpy Paco because his feedback was very very detailed he sent like three four tweets I don't remember anymore Derpy Paco is a quite a good redstoner and he started a let's play series which has some potential and I want you to give him some feedback if you can spare the time and that's not right and yeah if you're interested in cool redstone stuff then he definitely has an interesting channel for you and yeah I need to dig out this wall a bit further just as I anticipated and I guess I'll again see you back in a little bit uh, this is again one of those things where it just doesn't make any where it isn't any fun to build it in survival let's just make a few comparators we, we will need them and stone it was exactly okay So now we want to build a comparator there and a hopper going into that comparator because that is the only direction when we tile it or when we put loads of these next to each other where it doesn't face into another hopper. And we want a block there. We need to dig out this row here as well. Another block there. A block there and blocks down there and some redstone and a repeater facing this direction into a block and then we want to have a torch on that side there and that should we, yeah, that, that's the top part done actually. So these these here are all the same, and we'll continue on. With. What is wrong with you? I'm not gonna bother with that. But you are annoying. Did you see that? What the? What's wrong? Face upwards. Oh, dang it. I. <laughs> this is such a pain to place uh, redstone things that are directional. Ah. Okay, there we go. So I have put in the item sorters already and the bricks as well, and I try to time lapse this but it just didn't work out and why I'm gonna show you in a moment maybe sped up so it it gets a time lapse but there's some major derp involved which makes it a bit more funny I guess so how this works you see it looks like this and it's that there was a ton of redstone involved I guess we have 176 hoppers and almost a hundred chests so that took quite a lot of resources so how this works is we're gonna put in some ferns here it has to be ferns and then when we put in items here this will give a signal strength that will make it go to here which gets picked up by the com uh, repeater there and that unpowers the torch here uh, yeah, 
there are not enough anymore. And uh, when this torch is unpowered, it will unlock this hopper, which will pull items, which will pull items out from this hopper. Until we have 41 here, because a signal strength of uh, two, uh, this will give a signal strength of two. So that's when we give in one more. It will hit three again and will be picked up by the repeater and so on and so on. So this is how it works basically. Um, what we're going to use to distribute the items will be water streams because uh, there's also the possibility of using hoppers, but hoppers can be quite laggy because in every tick they uh, check if there are items above them or if there are inventories above them or if there are if there are minecarts above them where they can get items from. And that can make it quite laggy, so you normally want to keep the amount of hoppers to a minimum on a server. And with minecarts, it's like this if you have like 20 items in a minecart, like 20 uh, cobblestone, it can only pick one up at a time. So that's really slow. And this is why we're going to use water streams. They have the disadvantage that every eight blocks they either need to go a block lower or uh, you need to put packed ice, but that's not a problem. And yeah, so what we need now is I want to have some leaves here and a bit of glowstone in between, but we don't have any glowstone. So we're going to go over to spawn to the uh, drag mart and see if we can buy some glowstone. Hello Drakkad, how's it going? So we are in Daily Banana spawn cave and yeah, he's gone for a nethery demonic type of feel and I really like that. And uh, well, his base is gonna be in the same style, so that's gonna be really cool. Uh, next off, this has been bugging me for a while. <laughs> yeah, he has been joining and leaving all the time. <laughs> uh, this is something I want to tackle next episode. Uh, this is just looking like nothing. It's just random, a random field next to a random pond. So we're going to do something about that and make it pretty next episode. And yeah, next off we have a, a mall area. And <laughs> what's that? I haven't seen that and I'm not supposed to show it off until Saturday. So I guess we're gonna do that next episode. What's in there? I have no clue. Uh, we have a few plots here and some people have claimed some plots already and I have claimed mine here. So we're gonna uh, build something here in the next episode as well and I need to see if I do something on the, on the spawn house because the inside isn't finished, uh, is, is not yet finished. That was a fail. <laughs> Uh, that was a fail too. That... Uh, and also Angry K9 has made this awesome looking building here. Which is an ice farm. So we have a little storage area at the back there. And... A very nice ice farm here. It's very easy to use. So it has also a bit of redstone involved, so it's uh, pretty much semi-automatic, I guess. You only have to harvest the ice and it will then fill in uh, water uh, back as well. So make sure to check his video out. Okay, here we are at the drug mart. So let's see if he has 
he still has some glowstone. This bird here, if I haven't shown you, is actually a prank by Kibitz and the Captain. So let's see, we have... Ooh. Rotten Flesh, a diamond per stack. <laughs> uh, two diamonds per stack, seems alright. Do you have an under chest? You have one. So let's take... Two, let's take three stacks, why not? Ooh. And payment, pay here, okay. Very good, so I see you back at the base. So I have put in quite a lot of leaves and what I like about that is that you can barely see the light sources and barely see the dirt and stone in the background. I guess that's all dirt and that as well. So that's... I really like that. What I don't like is that it's quite dark here so I need to look into that and put one or two or three light sources at the top as well. And you know what? I have been working on this project for so long that I want to tackle something else and do that in another episode so just for the end of this episode, I want to show you something. Okay, what I wanted to do is kind of like this, which now that I look at it, I'm not really sure about anymore. But now what is interesting, what I just found out is, uh, I mean, you have seen it before in my, in my test world, I guess. Let's grab some iron blocks because if we make an anvil, you can actually put that on top of a sign. And I guess that looks quite cool. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, will have water streams down there. I will also do that in another episode or maybe off camera. I'm not really sure yet. And make all of this fancy. And I'll see you back for the next episode at, at spawn. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Dro, and I will see you next time and please give a like.